Now the sun is just starting to climb up over the treetops And it's gonna be a beautiful day that's plain to see But I won't be around Pink is up here. So as you can see from the closing, day two of the tournament started out kind of warm again. It was uh, back up in the 60s, uh, maybe even the low 70s when we started. Uh, we started the same pattern that worked for us yesterday, which was uh, hitting some grass and some lay downs, uh, catching some fairly small bass, but there were some bigger ones mixed in with to it too. But uh, pretty quickly we came to the realization that they weren't in the grass, and uh, we'll show you where they are if you'll keep on watching. Oh yeah, he's a long. I'll make you the same promise I made the last guy. Bring your brothers and sisters to me and I will let you go. Try to turn him a traitor. Oh, yeah, three already. You too. Another mushy grab. You all are 
exactly. They feel like that black muck. That's exactly what I thought this was. Yeah. Scan hook. We got a bone on a gill plate though. Thank you, Ted. 23 fish in a row. Whew, that was definitely worth the stop. <laughs> <laughs> she'll turn on you for a little bit, but she'll be back. Good. Well, I know, I know, I know, but I don't know when it comes back. <laughs> Mine never really turned on me. Mm -hmm. There were a couple of days, maybe a couple of weeks, she was mad at me about oh, that. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, that happens now. Oh, jeez. Okay. I got this Open. one. He's a keeper. Maybe. Hey, he's definitely a port. You have, how many? You only have one in 12, right? Yeah. Keep it. Because you, you chopped one, right? Yep. Oh, he's feisty. I don't know if that one's going to make 12, though. I think it's wrong. Well. He's trying to escape. He ain't 12. Not 12? Oh, my judgment's getting Just off. shy. 11 and 3 quarters. <laughs> judgment's getting off. Man. fish on the day. I ended up with three fish weighing in at about seven and a half pounds. Uh, all total I had about 16 and a half pounds which is about a pound short of the lead. Unfortunately I came in second instead of winning it. I threw that one fish back. Uh, I hope it lived because it was probably the pound that might have made the difference in me winning and losing but I didn't want to kill a fish. And if I had and it died uh, it would have cost me the, the weight of the fish anyway so uh, it wasn't worth chancing it. Ted ended up coming in second uh, for the co-anglers division, so we had a pretty good tournament overall and really enjoyed our time on Lake Gaston.
Thanks for watching Fish On. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks. Now I suppose there are lots of things that I should be doing. But it's funny right now, nothing seems to come to my mind. You know, fishing tends to put me at ease and straighten out my priorities. I know nothing's more important than what's on the end of my line